students welcome our to our mathematics class unit 7 lesson 3 our today lesson is about pyramids coins and the spheres my dear students this part is new to you you didn't learn in your lower grades you didn't see in grade 9 or 8 elsewhere so this is new to you and if it is new to you you are expected to work hard so you so that you must have a great base of this part so this consists of three parties, pyramids, coins, and spheres. Today we will learn only pyramid. Next lesson we will learn coin. Then spheres will start. So now let us start pyramids. Students, is there any figures that you know as a pyramid? Have you ever seen figures that, are, that have the shape of a pyramid? There are some figures in some countries. That are pyramids. Okay, whatever it is, now let us see together. Definition it says a pyramid is a solid figure formed when each vertex of a polygon is joined to the same point, not in the plane of the polygon. Pyramid is a solid figure formed when each vertex of a polygon is joined to the same point, not in the plane of the polygon. Are they pyramid or shahanka samaisma? Marka, gaze castor or salka camida, let's go over the cano, melka basin salk. Let us see some figures of the pyramids. For example, this is a pyramid. Pyramids are named after their bases. This pyramid is called a triangular pyramid. Look, so the Hagal Boaha, Fertigiska A. Vertex is B, vertex is C. So the halwa male base who will take it. So the halal A, B, C, K, G, do a halal. Ma had a halal. It will be. It will not be solid figure. Man no gudan solid figure. Kisa the halal adin laha man no qani yekar digan thay. Lakin hadam halal sini. A vertex is A, gas is A. Wal qabtay korbal loj yidi male bal gay. Kab hasan base ki. Vertex is B, barti vertex is A lagay or kalay lagay. Harichinta C, vertex is C kapi lavanta la barta is khumel bes hui madam. Haisa mayen saw shahan base mayen shahan kaisa mayen halawira pyramid balawira wa pyramid. Pyramid kasi magi triangular pyramid. Haloi the triangular pyramid. Wa yar salki ayaha triangle. Okay, let us see this one again. This is what again another pyramid. This type of pyramids are known in Egypt. Egyptians, ha, this is what they have as a symbol. So this is quadrilateral pyramid. Why quadrilateral? Because of the base is four sided. Look, A, vertex A, it is taken to where? To outside of the plane. Vertex B, vertex C, vertex D, all of them meet in one point. The figure formed from taking the vertices to one point not in the plane is called pyramid. Shahanada no ano kala, a merka fertigasido the geso ho the hal melo kabas and salka lesku with the geyo, some is nayali daram hai, pyramid. This is a pyramid. What about this figure? Again, this is a pyramid. What is the name of this figure? Pentagonal pyramid. Why? Because of the base which is five sided figure. Pentagon. Penta means five, isn't it? Pentagonal pyramid. Students, these figures are consist about what? This more than one figure, isn't it? They may be triangles, maybe uh, rectangles, something like that. So this is a three-dimensional figure. 
all of this, that all of them are what? Three-dimensional figures. And these three-dimensional figures, we call them solid figures. And from the solid figures, this, their special name is what? Pyramids. So these are pyramids. Now, let us see. Looking at the solid figure below, we will try to name, okay? So please flow with me and try to name it. Look the figure. If the question that we raise in here will be, uh, we, we will get this answer inside this figure. So give special attention, attention, observe it, and then answer it. The figure is called a, a what? What is called this figure? Can you answer? Okay. It's called pyramid. It's called pyramid. Excellent. Okay. The region VED is called what? What do we call the region VED? What do we call it? What do you think? It is called lateral phase. It is one of the lateral phases of the pyramid. Okay. The region A, B, C, D, E, F. Where is it? A, B, C, D, E, F. This region is where? What is called? It is called what? Very good. It is called base of the the pyramid, isn't it? So base of the pyramid. It is called base of the pyramid. Okay. Dash is the altitude of the pyramid. Which one do you think the altitude? Okay. Very good. It is clear, isn't it? Very good. So therefore, VB is the altitude. Why? It comes from the vertex and perpendicular to the center of the polygon, isn't it? Therefore, it is the altitude of the pyramid. Okay. VE and VF are called, are, are called what? What do we call VE? The line segment VE from the vertex to one vertex of the, the base. VF, also another one. So what do we call this? Very good. It is called lateral edge. Lateral edges. Okay. Since A, B, C, D, F is hexagonal region, then the pyramid is called What do we call this pyramid? If you are asked to give a name, what we will give? Okay. Hexagonal pyramid. Because of its base. Hexa is sigis, so this is a sigis-sided base. Therefore, this is hexagonal pyramid. So if we have learned these parts, now let us see what we call a regular pyramid is a pyramid whose base is regular polygon and whose altitude passes through the center of the base. So here, a regular pyramid. What type of figure do we call a regular pyramid? It is a pyramid with a base of regular polygon. Do you remember the regular polygon is? If you remember them, if the pyramid has a regular polygon, we will call it what? Regular pyramid, we will call it. The altitude of a pyramid is the length of the perpendicular from the vertex to the plane containing the base. I hope this is clear because the example, the figure we saw before now was what? There was a question which says what, what, is, the, what is the length of what is called VB? VB was altitude, isn't it? So altitude always comes from where? From the vertex and comes perpendicular to the center of the base, the center of the base of the polygon the base polygon, okay? Now, the slant height of a regular pyramid is the altitude of any of its lateral faces. There were lateral faces from the pyramid. From the lateral faces, when al the altitude is called slant height. These are basic terms. If we get this, we will understand our lessons. If these points we do not agree together and that we do not get clearly, nothing will be understood from the lesson. So slant height and altitude, you should have to differentiate. The slant height is the altitude of the lateral faces. One of the lateral faces may be. Any? Okay. Now this is. The slant height is which one? Look the figure. The slant height is which one? Lateral face V, B, Z, L is what? The slant height. Now let us see the surface area. How to find the surface area. That means the lateral surface area, the total surface area, how to find. Let us see. The lateral surface area of a regular pyramid is equal to half the product of its slant height and the parameter of the base. If you want to find the lateral surface area, you will multiply what? Half 
of the parameter of the base and what? The slant height. Now let us see. That is lateral surface area is equal to half of BL. B stands for parameter. L stands for what? The slant height. We can see here. Where AL denotes the lateral surface area, B denotes parameter of the base, and L denotes what? The slant height of the pyramid. Isn't it? Now, the total surface area of a pyramid is given by area of the base plus lateral surface area, which is equal to area of the base plus 1 over 2 BL. Student is from this, why don't we say two y's of area of the base to find the total surface area? Why don't we say two times area of the base? Mahanurum, we need total surface area, we need the level of the area of the base, or log lateral surface area, Mahanurum, we because it has only one base. Hal base in Bellela. Pyramid in Hulay, Hal base. Base ka, salka, ka, hosem moya, and kukala ulay in Nichiro. Korkoam hai, we are gays. Fertex V. So this is, now we have these two formulas. These two formulas we will try to practice so that we understand clearly. Let us see now where AB is the area of the base. Example. A regular pyramid has a square base whose side is 4 cm long. The lateral edges are 6 cm each. What is the slant height? What is the lateral surface area? C. What is the total surface area? My dear students, what are we asking? What are we given us? Here we are told that there is a regular pyramid. Do you remember what regular pyramids are? What are they? Very good. A pyramid which its base is regular polygon, isn't it? It is a square. A square is a regular polygon. All the four sides are equal. So we want to find the lateral and the slant height and the lateral surface area and total surface area. But before we do, can you draw, can you make a rough sketch of the, this, this, this uh, pyramid? Masawuri kartan. Marko hora hata square de dina sawuri tip. Why we have garan slant height kwa alka uyehay. Halka wa hiyabaya ni musti yaykele yin pat garan kartan. كل كامر كان سؤال عنه عنه كالكشة قيني سيد سكوير ده بلينا سكوير تدوحي هذا بيننا هذا علامة تدوحي حلو بسيئي نو لا لا سي سولوشي This is the pyramid Lateral edge is 6 cm Okay Base 4 All the sides are equal 4 4 each So L Slant height is V to E So it divides into 2 half is 2 2 Now we can find this is the slant height Let us see A VE is equal to plus EZ squared is equal to VZ squared. That means by the Pythagoras theorem. Now we can say VE for us is L, L squared plus 2 squared is equal to 6 squared. When we square 2, it is 4. When we square 6, it is 36. So to find L squared, we will take the 4 to the right side and we will say 36 minus 4, it will become 32. So L squared is equal to 32. That means L is equal to radical 32. Now let us see. L is equal to radical 32, which is equal to 4 radical 2 centimeter. Now, the slant height, we get the answer. It is 4 radical 2. Now, let us see B, the lateral surface area. The lateral surface area is obtained by what? Half of parameter times length, isn't it? Very good. Let us say the lateral surface area is equal to BL, half of 4 times 4. 4 times 4, Y? Because all the four sides are equal, so if you multiply 4 by 4, it will be the parameter. 4 radical 2 is the slant height. Therefore, this will give us 32 radical 2 centimeter squared. This is the lateral surface area. Can you answer C? What will be the answer of C? We are going to find what? The total surface area. The total surface area is equal to area of the base plus the lateral surface area. Area of the base is obtained by 4 square. It is a square. So side square. 4 square plus 32 radical 2. And this will become 16 plus 32 radical 2. And if we factorize, we may get 16 bracket 1 plus 2 radical 2 centimeter squared. Now let us see the volume. Volume of a pyramid. This is the pyramid. The volume of any pyramid is equal to 130, the product of the area of the base and its altitude. That is, V is equal to 130, 1 over 3 times area of the base times height. 
height, you look at the figure. The height is what? The line that comes from the vertex and perpendicular to the center of the base. Now let us see some examples based on this example. We will say, we will see some examples before we see V and H stand as well. We know what they stand for. Now let us see example. Find the lateral surface area, total surface area, and the volume of the regular pyramid shown. This pyramid. We want to find what? Lateral surface, total surface, then volume. I hope that you will find it quickly, easily, because everything is given us. Now let us start and say solution. Okay. To find the lateral surface area, we must define the slant height, isn't it? Because lateral surface area is equal to half of bare meter times L. Do we have the slant height here? We don't have, but we can find it easily. Because slant height is equal to, by Pythagoras theorem, we can find the slant height. So, in triangle VEF, we have that VF square is equal to V square plus EF. So VF is the slant height that we want. Now this will be equal to 12 square plus 5 square, which is equal to 144 plus 25, 169. And when we take the root of 169, it will become 13. This is the slant height. Therefore, the slant height is 13 centimeter. Now we can find the lateral surface area. The lateral surface area is equal to 1 over 2 B, L, parameter is 4 times 10, which is 40, 40 divided by 2 is 20, 20 times 13, 260 centimeter square is the lateral surface area. The total surface area is simple because we have half of our answer. Now, AT will be area of the base plus AL, 100 side square, plus 260, 360 centimeter. Volume, simple. Volume is obtained by what? Area of the base times height. What's the area of the base? Side square, 10 square. Isn't it? Why we said side square? Because the base is square by itself. So volume will be equal to 1 over 3 area of the base times height, 1 over 3 times 100 times 12, and this will become 400 centimeter cubic. How it was? So simple, isn't it? If it is not simple, you will make it simple by repeating many times, okay? Now let us see activity. This is for you. It is your turn. Try to do well, okay? Within the given time. A regular square pyramid has all its edge is 7 cm long. Find its total surface area, it is volume. Can you? To find this type, what are you expected first? First to make rough sketch, isn't it? You should have to sketch the figure. This is the figure, so try to find. You have three minutes. Try to use these three minutes and find it. Good luck, my dear.
Okay, welcome back again, my dear. Now we will try to see the answer or the solution of this activity and check your answers. If you get it, excellent. If you didn't get it, doesn't matter. You will work hard again. Let us see the solution. Solution. This is the figure that we are given. All edges are seven centimeters. All. Whether it is base or high and so on. So we can say, Total surface area is equal to area of the base plus 1 over 2 PL, isn't it? The parameter is 4 times 7, 4 times 7, okay? The, param uh, the, area, the parameter is 4 times 7, so we'll have it. The area is simple, it is a square, 7 a square or 7 times 7. Therefore, our area will be equal to, but L, how do you get L? By using the Pythagoras, isn't it? So, the total surface area will become 49 plus 7 radical 147, which is equal to 49 plus 49 radical 3. And if we want to simplify this, we can simplify it and take 49 outside. And we can say total surface area is 49 times bracket 1 plus radical 3 centimeter square. Let us see the volume. The volume is so simple, but the height is very important. Do you have the height? How do you, how do you get? Okay, volume is equal to 1 over 3, area of the base times height. But height is equal to what? L square minus 7 over 2 square. And this we will get 7 radical 2 over 2. Now we can find easily. V is equal to 1 over 3, 7 times 7, 7 radical 2 over 2. And this will become 343 radical 2 over 6 centimeter cubic. It was too tedious, isn't it? Whatever it is, go back to your lessons, do the exercises on your textbook. That is all for our today's lesson. Goodbye, work hard. <laughs>